family is different, and there are likely to be cultural differences among Latino families, but one of the most common values in the Latino culture is the importance of family, or la familia. Latin Americans tend to have close-knit families. The idea of family includes cousins, aunts, and uncles, and extends to neighbors and friends. It is common for multiple generations to live in the same household or nearby each other, with grandparents playing an important role in their grandchildren's upbringing. This is how traditions, beliefs, and celebrations are passed down from generation to generation. The family needs usually override individual needs. The emphasis on the well-being of the family often make Latin Americans very group-oriented. Family is everything, and everyone takes care of each other. Something in my family that is a tradition are quinceañeras. Um, I, for example, had a quinceañera. Some quinceañeras are very elaborate, some are not. It really depends on the family. And um, quinceañeras, uh, usually you have music, you have lots of food. Um, the girl, the quinceañera in this case, gets to wear a pretty dress and a crown. And um, it really is to celebrate um, the life of a young woman. And uh, so yeah, and you can invite all your friends and family. And um, yeah, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big deal in the Latin American culture. A tradition slash celebration that is really important to me and my family are asados. Asados are barbecues that you have family and friends over and you have all different types of meat. So in our house, my dad has a barbecue with a grill from Argentina that it's a big grill, just the metal piece. And um, you put the fire directly under it. And we have things from chicken to blood sausage, chorizo, different parts of the cow. And one thing that stands out is the mojeja. Mojeja is this part of the cow. And when I was little, I thought it was disgusting and disturbing why somebody would want to eat that part of the cow. But now I actually enjoy it. I think it's chewy and it has a lot of flavor to it. Um, we always put chimichurri on the meat. Argentina is known for their meats. And chimichurri, the main things that you taste are the parsley and the garlic. Of course, there's different seasonings in there. Argentine food often has very simple seasonings. It's not a lot of sauces. So it's not something like you think of barbecue ribs. That's not something we do. Um, oftentimes the meat has like a dry seasoning or a dry rub on top. And so we, I love the asados growing up. We have music playing, we have people over. And who doesn't love to eat? So it was a good time. No hay nada tan rico como un mate en un día tan caluroso como acá en Las Vegas. Toma, prima, te toca a vos. Bueno, gracias. Ay, me quemé. Ay, como queme este mate. Gracias, eh. Gracias. Gracias. Javi, ¿me pones más azúcar? Bien. Perfecto. El mate se toma amargo. Así se toma el mate. Toma, primita. Gracias, Javi. Javi me pasó un amarguito. Mmm, riquísimo. A mí me gusta con cascarita de limón también. A 
ver quién lo agarra. A ver. Mm, está bien, está calentito. Toma, se va un poquito más. Aires en Argentina tomando un muy rico mate. Mm. Lo único que me parece que la yerba está un poquito lavada. ¿Me la cambias por favor? Gracias. Hola. 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 It's for you. Claudio. No, se, se, se te escucha todo cortado, ¿eh? Chao, chao. Después hablamos.